So, in our previous discussion, we are looking at the factors, looking at the changes, what makes a sustainability? A sustainability is important, that is environmental issues, change in the economic system, how the growth based economic system is also creating the negative externalities, also the impact. Then we have also seen how the change in the role in the uh, role of stakeholder have been change because there is a increase in the expectation and increase in the uh, transparency. And finally, also we have seen that the newer technology and innovation which is more sustainable, how that will help us to adopt the sustainable practices or reach to the goal of the sustainability or the sustainable development. Now, so as I was mentioning in the last session also, so there is also opinion that sustainability is a mega trend. So, mostly what, uh, uh, what we will try to say in this session is that we will see that why it fixed to be a mega trend and if it is mega trend also we see what we need to do to also the achieve the end goal that is achieve the sustainability. So, what is a mega trend? mega trend, it is a large overarching direction that shape the business world for a decade or more. So, it is in a simple way, typically the direction what we get for the business for a space for a considerable amount of the time period, we call them as the mega trend. So, what are the previous mega trend that have impacted business? that is quality movement, we all know quality movement started with the fact that they were trying to fix the defect associated with the product, but over a period of time they brought those innovation into their core strategy and that becomes that created the quality for their product which gives the tangible benefit, but it gives the intangible benefit in term of the reputation, in term of the culture, in term of the brand for the company. The second mega trend is the information technology or let us say the computing which becomes part of the business that is use of computers in the business. So, one is use of computing in the business, but this IT information technology is a mega trend, it reached to every consumer's life and that is why it considered as a mega trend. And the third one is the social media, the platform which which give access to information, which gives access to the networking. Now, according to the study of Cole, a, and this is a this is published in uh, the book Sustainability as a Mega Trend. Is it right for your organization? That is a common sense approach to sustainability. They opine that he opined that a new mega trend is emerging in the area of environment. That is sustainability. And this sustainability is built on the foundation of protecting our planet and its resources. However, the true application of sustainability is much broader, runs much deeper, especially for the businesses and why it is for the businesses because they are the one who use the resources to build this and also they are the one they find the solution that how do we reduce the impact on the resources. Also there is a demand from the society and consumer to make the corporate responsible. So, you will find in the last class also we are discussing how the role of civil society has become more prom prominent. So, here the society is society is playing a important role in putting a pressure or initiating the fact with the corporates that they have to also run their business responsibly. And consumers also trying their way to make the corporate responsible and how do they do that also support the demand through buying the product, buying the so called sustainable product and also advocating and supporting organization to commit at the sustainability. Now, the other study what makes the sustainability imperative is 
Lubin and Estee, this is a HPR article published in 2010, they also think that sustainability is an emerging business mega trend and according to them over last 10 years the sustainability imperative has changed. It is magnified by and why it has increased over a increase as a mega trend because it is magnified the trend has been magnified by escalating the public and the governmental concern about climate change, industrial pollution, food safety, natural resource depletion among the other issues. So, these are how, what we are trying to bring in uh, when we are trying to categorize that what makes imperative is the environmental issues that talks about climate change, the negative externality, also the natural resource degradation and depletion. And why they feel that sustainability is a mega trend? Because the feature and trajectory are common with the previous mega trend. So, they have also give, taken the example of IT and quality as the mega trend and they opine that the features and trajectory what the sustainability has that is common with the previous mega trend. And they have also suggested that we need to learn from the past or the firms or the businesses need to learn from the past mega trend. And if they are seeking to gain advantage through the sustainability, they have to solve two problems simultaneously. First one, they have to formulate the vision for the value creation and third or second one is executive on executing on it. So, if sustainability is going to be the mega trend and it has to be the businesses has to gain advantage in sustainability, they have to solve two problem. One, they have to formulate a vision which will create the value and second also executing on it. Now, for formulating a vision, Lubin and SC, they have created four stage of value creation. And this four stage of value creation, they have given examples from the different companies initiative and through that they have identified the four stage of value creation. So, value creation stage one is uh, doing old thing in the new way, second one is doing new thing in the new way, the, uh, third one is transform the core business and fourth one is business model creation and product differentiation. And they have given an example when they are doing that doing old thing in new way, they have given the example of 3M's pollution prevention phase. When they are doing the second example that is new, uh, new model in new way that is DuPont's zero waste commitment. Then the transforming core business they have given an example of Dow's sweeping goal on sustainability. And fourth one when they are saying that create the differentiation in the model, they have given the example of GE Eco Imagination initiative which is quite popular and also it has evolved over a period of time as a successful differences, the product differentiation or the differentiating product. Then they say that once you formulate the vision, you have identified the four stage of the value creation, then the next challenge comes that how do you execute on it. And for executing the first thing needed to be done over here is that there has to be a transition. And what is this transition? The transition has to be done from tactical ad hoc approach to the strategic, systematic and integrated one. So, the entire transition is from the ad hoc approach to the systematic and the integrated one and five critical areas need to be addressed. So, the transition has to happen in all these five critical area when we execute the stages of the value creation then only the end result will come that is transition that is the transition in leadership, methods, strategy, management and reporting. So, based on these two studies what we have discussed in uh, uh, last few slides, they feel that sustainability is a mega trend mostly because of the fact that they have the similar feature, similar trajectory 
which was there with the previous mega trends with the IT and quality. So, sustainability fits to be a mega trend and also uh, they opine that in order to create a value, in order to get a value creation out of this mega trend, the businesses has to formulate a vision and execute on it, they have to change their, uh, they have to change their way of working transiting from the ad hoc approach to the more systematic and integrated one. 